Hey guys, it's Delval, and we're going to be getting another achievement in Immortal Unchained. This time we're going after Pilgrim's Pilgrimage, but just to complete the narrow questline. Now, you'll first run into Narrow and Apexian, just by the Broken Bridge Obelisk. Come down the stairs, and you'll find him sitting on a bench. You'll need to grab him on your first time through here before you beat the Soothsayer boss in order for him to appear. Whether by our own hand or that of another, we bear chains. Be forewarned, if you did not set those chains, leave them, for they are there for a reason. Say what you will, but they are there, searing their way into our minds. Do not sit idle. Time is but morning dew. It is but a flash, even when the land is not forsaken. Now is the moment to do what has always been but an ember in the back of your mind. Everything, all I created, all I have done, gone. Nothing but a whisper in a raging storm. Let it be known to all that I did not cower, but went head on into the darkness to meet my fate. Wherever the end may take you, tell them how I met my fate. Let them know I went proudly. Even with the end so near, I did not give in. I fought until there was nothing left of this world. Regardless of the end, I will be left with no regret, except the one I carried on my head. Do you also hear the madness? Floats on the air, venting from deep within the keep. A madness I shall eradicate, or one that will consume me. The howl, it grows stronger with each bellow, its heart filling with pain, with hate, with a desire to steal my last breath. Now, the second place that you'll meet Narrow is out in front of the Citadel Gates Obelisk. He will only be here after you defeat the Soothsayer, but before you trigger the ambush at the Monolith. So as soon as you defeat the Soothsayer, turn back around, come up to this obelisk and speak to him. It's a short conversation, but it's only available at this moment. And just, I ruled fairly. I was the best, that is certain. This was the high castle of the Prime once. Proud and self-important people, they brought this end unto themselves. The Prime, these gates demand a great power for them to part. One may only enter the castle through this point. The gate does not grant access, although this has never been the norm. I am at a loss as to how to remedy the situation. Now, the third time you meet Narrow is just past the Citadel Gates Obelisk. After you have done the ambush at the Monolith, you'll find him just by this broken bridge at the top of the stairs after you do a fight with some teleporting enemies and you're first introduced to the larger enemies that fire frost bombs. Speak to him here, exhaust the dialogue options, and this is the only moment in the quest line where you can really mess up or fail. What you'll need to do is, after you finish the conversation, turn back around, proceed as normal, and then take the first right at the top of the stairs. You'll see the path in a moment. Once you're in that room, you'll need to defeat two large enemies that put up the shields and fling ice bombs at you. If you die here, then Arrow will also die, and the quest will fail. So make sure not to die here. Once you defeat them, have a chat with them again, and exhaust these dialogue options and then you'll be able to proceed as normal through Apexion until you meet him again. I cannot fall. Not here. Not now. It is not my time. In order to do this fight, as you can see I did cut a bit out where I put on a cold patch and a combined patch just to help reduce the damage a bit. And I also go for the armor shrine underneath the room just because it is also a damage reduction shrine, making this fight a bit easier.
as you can see, once the fight's over, speak to an arrow, you'll know you've completed it as you'll say that you stand victorious, rather than, you know, dying. All those moments will be lost in time, like blood in rain. Time has not been kind. Although my wit remains sharp, my drawn has not. I need but a moment's pause. I pray it gives me strength. Now the fourth time that you find Naro is not long after you save him the third one. Uh, it's just before the alley obelisk, and it's just a little bit past the gate to Begor, uh, which is on the lower levels of this section. Once you get up here, just exhaust these dialogue options, and the end he will move to the next area. How strange it would be if their effort is what fostered this change. Were we the bearers of this fate, or the instigators, is it fate or action that dictates such? Now, the fifth time you find Naro is right outside the throne room, or the Malog fight. Exhaust the dialogue options with him here, and then the next stage will be to go in and kill the boss. Clearly, the prophecy is no mere fable. Our offences transcend this place. Late is the hour. My moments consume. I stay here to meet my end. Make way. Go. Find your place. My journey resolves my dilemma. It is futile to alter the course. I allow fate carry me into the expanse. Brothers, forgive me. Now, after you beat the boss, you run into Naro in the same position for the fifth time. Very short conversation. Make sure you exhaust all the dialogue options. And that will give him the cue to travel back to the core, which is where you'll be able to end the quest. Where did we all go astray? Would things have been different had I read Allow me time to contemplate. I will engage you after. So for the sixth time, or the sixth and final time that you've met Naro, he will be back in the core after you've gone through all the previous steps. And after you exhaust his dialogue options, he will give you the Pilgrim's Key. Now at the end of the video I will show you the position which to get that. Uh, as a dis quick description, it is by the Temple Grounds Obelisk, and you would follow the path as if you were going into the Cinder Woods, and it's a locked door on your right. I will have a video at the end showing you that, and hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, remember to like and share for a friend, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Glad he is unaware of this hell we live in. Glad he does not know what we have done to his children. Beast, 